Yo, it's your boy JSF. Um, I'm gonna try to make this a quick video. It really shouldn't take long, but I just wanted to point out, address, and just kind of mention some quality of life changes that I will hope we see in uh, MK Aftermath. Since we're getting that big update, I guess we're getting three characters, we're getting stages, blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing they're giving us everything, like a little bit of balance. They always do some small tweaks and little things like that, bug fixes. So I'm just, this is just about some little quality of life changes that I hope that we get. And for those of you who don't know, who might not be familiar with the term, quality of life changes are usually like bug fixes, little tweaks, little changes, little hitbox, hurtbox changes, like little things that aren't huge balance changes. It's not like Joker's down two is now plus five on block. It's not nothing like that, but it's something like just like a little tweak like now you have to be this close to the interactable to actually get it like little things like that or like we increase the window for wake ups or something so here's just a few of those changes that I think and I think a lot of them are pretty simple ones that we all agree on that netherrealm just hasn't done and I really don't know why <laughs> other than they just don't care or they're lazy or they just don't want to do it or their game is designed some weird funky way that doing something really simple is really hard for them even though they've done it before but anyway <clears throat> I don't want to waste too much of your time so the first thing I want to talk about is uh, breakaway um, I don't want to get too into breakaway because that's a whole video and I think I've made a video on breakaway but um, how many of you How many of you have ever had this happen? <laughs> you get hit by a projectile because you're blocking, right? Or you're dash blocking, or you're walking in and blocking, you see a projectile, you're trying to block, or you're ducking, or you're ducking, walking, ducking, walking, and then you get down and block at the same time. As you get hit by a projectile, whoop, there goes your defensive meter for no fucking reason, right? So I think that alone is reason enough that breakaway shouldn't be R2. I think the input for breakaway should be changed to L2 because you never mistakenly hit L2 and you never want to mistakenly break away, right? Like, wake up roll is L2 and stand switch, which stand switch is completely useless. There's no reason for it to be in the game. It's some weird novelty shit that NRS likes to do. It doesn't need to exist in the game whatsoever. It really doesn't. Like, this game, this button doesn't need to exist. Um, L2 should be breakaway. That way you will never get this because even if you're wave dashing or just you know whatever you're doing you'll never accidentally hit l2 like it just won't happen you know it eliminates that problem altogether and it's not the hugest deal that makes the game unplayable etc 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 but it happens in matches it happens in high level matches it happens in low level matches it happens way too often right and another thing while i was on the topic of um of changing the buttons from fucking l2 to r2 and shit Interactables. Interactable button is currently R1, which is the meter burn button or the enhance button, right? So to enhance a special move, you have to press R1, right? Now this is fine and dandy, but what happens is online, this game is not like we have to be honest here. This game is not amazing online, right? <laughs> it's not. You go in combat league, you go on ranked, you play against somebody that's 130 ping and shit buttons start disappearing right so like to do joker's low gun shot right back forward x to do the enhanced version you have to do it early you have to do it basically right when you press the button you can't do it and then do the enhanced later you have to do it at the same time so what happens sometimes and not just a joker you don't get the button at all you get this you get back forward r1 and then you lose defensive meter now this interactable itself isn't that bad but imagine you're in neutral and then you get the shield bash from uh, Kotokan's Coliseum. Completely in neutral. Uh, spawns like way over here. You're trying to do gunshots and you get this. And he's just looking at you like, bruh, really? And then you know you know what Spawn wants to do when he sees you when he sees you with that, you know what he's gonna do? You get the point. <laughs> you get the point, right? <laughs> like I I'm not about to do like then the point is you lose defensive meter for that right like when you do this and like it's not your fault right you try to do that but you get this instead you lose a bar defensive meter right and 
say we're on a different stage in a different situation, you just whiffed defensive meter and you're playing a character like this, and maybe not even spawn, any character, right? Fucking, let's say, let's say spawn whiffs the shit, right? Spawn whiffs. Oh, fucking breakaway so long. <laughs> so let's let's say spawn whiffs. I see him whiffing. I'm like, all right, bet you gonna whiff. You know, and then I go I go into that whole sequence. And it's like if we wanna keep it simple. If I have this too, boom, four hundred forty like, you know, this is guaranteed off a of whip punish. This like this part is guaranteed. It at thirty eight percent at least. And you can't break it. <laughs> like that should be changed. Like interactable button should also be L2. It should also be L2. Because if you're getting comboed and trying to break away, you can't use an interactable. So <laughs> I think interactable like it won't interfere with that. So interactable button should also be L2. That way you don't accidentally get interactables ever. You have to go out of your way to use an interactable. You have to press a whole different button you would have no business pressing other than that, right? So that would I think that solves that problem. And these are like I said, these aren't the biggest bugs, the biggest issues in the world, but these are annoying as hell and they happen, right? The other thing with breakaway while before I'm too before I'm too far off of breakaway. Um no, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Do I still have it saved? Do it. Oh, he's not gonna do it. Alright. <laughs> so here's the other beautiful breakaway. I have a block after that. See how that says punish? Yeah, that shouldn't exist. And I'm not going to go into detail on it because I've said this a million times. Uh, Sonic Fox just posted a video talking about it. Go watch Sonic Fox's video about it. It's it's just stupid. It's just bad game design. Like, it just is. Like, I'm glad that somebody at the top of the top is finally saying something about it. Because like, Netherrealm doesn't know me. They're not going to acknowledge me. They don't care what I think. But when the best player in the world says it, they might listen. You know? Like, Netherrealm listens to the players, the known players, and gives them what they want. So, this should never exist in a fight game. Like, the way Sonic Fox said it is, I should never be punished for being right. And that is correct. But I just say you should never be punished for one hit. I should never be punished for landing a combo, bro. For, for doing this to you, I shouldn't be able to get punished. Because this is the, the whole object of the game. And I know you want there to be layers to the game, like you want there to be more of a my, like more th more thought to it, like oh, well, is he gonna do this? Is he gonna do that? But the thing is, Injustice had that, bro. Injustice had a breakaway mechanic, but it wasn't safe. Let alone plus, it was never plus, and the damn sure wasn't safe. Well, it was safe occasionally, depending on the character, depending on the flip out. And the only thing that I would have changed to the injustice flip out system, I would have left it exactly the same. But I would have left, I would have added a forward tech, because you could up tech and back tech. I would have added a forward tech, but they all had hella recovery. So at best, you spent two. And injustice is a game with four bars, four bars of meter, right? At best, best case scenario, you spent two bars of meter and reset neutral. Best case scenario. In this game, you spend two bars of defensive meter, not even offensive, right? Two bars of defensive meter, and you, depending on the character and the combo, you can full combo them in counter hit combos. Counter hit combos in this game are like this, and you have your offensive meter, so you can get more damage. It's not like, it's not like your damage is capped. Like you get 40 40 percent damage. You know what I mean? In injustice, like you only have one meter. Your meter is only one meter. So if you only have two bars and you flip out, hey, even if you somehow hit them, can't, can't combo them, right? In this game, you break away. Not only can you be fucking plus and punish them, you also have meter to do like a max damage punish if they can't break, if they don't have breakaway, right? It's just, it's too much, man. It's too powerful. You should never be in a position of power for getting hit. Like for losing the neutral, you should not be rewarded, right? So I don't want to talk about that too much. I know how I feel about that shit. I feel very strongly about that. <laughs> I feel very, very strongly about that. And I don't want to make this whole video another breakaway rant. But yeah, it's just really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad, really bad game design. <laughs> so I already talked about um, making breakaway L2, making a, making a fucking, what is that? What's that other shit? Um, oh, interactables. Making interactables L2. Like these ones you can't get because you have to jump. 
but um, the, the other interactables that are just like standing right here, like when you pick up the Tarkatan dude in the Baraka stage and throw him at, at you and stuff like that, when you don't want it, it just happens. Or like, you know how at the end of a round or the new round is starting and you try to start off the round with a special move or something or an EX special and you miss, you miss the window or something or you're slightly off and all you get is the R1? Shit happens. <laughs> but yeah, stand switch doesn't need to exist. If it has to exist, make it L3 or R3 where you click the buttons or something, man. Make it something else. Don't make it a whole button that we can use for something else. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is... Okay, he doesn't low profile spawns a... Uh... He doesn't low profile spawns uh, uh, mid fireball, which is great. But there are characters who can, right? Like, let me let's see if I can get him to do it. This button might work. Nah, nah, it doesn't work. But there are characters basically in this game who can low profile mids, and not just fireballs. Like, I, I remember once I was playing Sub-Zero and I did Sub-Zero's Fatal Blow, and this, I was playing against a Sonya player, and the Sonya player was mashing down three, and I knew the Sonya player was mashing down three, that's why I did Fatal Blow. And instead of me hitting the Sonya player, she low-profiled his Fatal Blow, which is a super slow mid, and yeah, needless to say, I wasted that shit and I got punished, and I died. Like, you can low-profile mids in this game, and I just don't think you should be able to. And, oh, I know who to show. I know exactly who to show with this shit. Oh, my God. I know exactly what to show. <laughs> I know exactly what to show. Hoo, hoo, hoo. We can show Cassie. I don't even want to do that. Like, it, it's not even just mids. It's, like, highs that are supposed to jail. Like, it's part of the Frost. big issue with Frost, right? Like, people keep trying to tell me Frost is good. And I'm just like, yo, you don't understand that, like, all her shit can be low, ducked or low profile. All of it. All of it. All of it. Other, and if, if you can't duck or low profile it, it's super fucking slow. And not something you should respect. But Sex machine. We'll, we'll, we'll just go to, we'll go to your man right here. <laughs> your man right here. And, like, certain characters have these down threes and down fours where they're basically fucking flat on the ground, which I don't really understand. Um. Like, look at his, look at his down three. Right? Can I even hit him when he does down three? I want to see. I want to see. I want to see if it, <laughs> but like I know this shit a whiff, obviously, but like this a whiff, right? I know this is a high, but even if Johnny Cage is um, even if he's just blocking, let's let's just have him crouch block, right? Let's just have him crouch block. That doesn't jail. Like this is a high, but you see how it still hits him? That's what's supposed to happen in this game. That doesn't. So like this whole stagger part of her game plan is not real. Um, yeah. So that's just one example. But like of a highs. Oh, you can't do it off that shit. That's another high that whiffs. But like, if you're gonna give this to certain characters where they can crouch block and avoid shit they should get hit by, give it to everybody. Either give it to nobody or give it to everybody. Because at first it was like a female hitbox thing, but then Johnny Cage has it, but then Raiden has it, but then Kano has it sometimes, then uh, Noob Sidebot has it sometimes, and then like it just became super weird and super nuanced. And like, a lot of characters can fucking do it, and a lot of characters suffer because they can't do it. Like. Either get rid of it, which I think you should do, get rid of it altogether. Like every character can get hit the same way. And it's weird because like Sindel's a female character, but she doesn't have a small hurt box like this. So like this works against Sindel, but not against Johnny. And not against Raiden and like certain other characters and not against Joker. Joker has a small hurt box too. That's just a little tweak that I think they should just change. Like give everybody this make everybody affected the same way. Make it so you can't low profile mids and make sure if you if you do a string that jails into a high special that you should get hit by. It just doesn't make any sense.
Like that's another thing that I just think. And maybe I'm maybe I'm alone on that one. Maybe some people are like, nah, Johnny should have a a stupid lower hurt box on everything. People should be able to down three, down four, and fucking when you do your mid, like this will go under his shit. This will go. Well, I'm not trying to do that. It'll go under spawns fireball. Like Baraka shit will too. Like cause you solo to the ground, it'll go over my ex mid fireball and go underneath it. And it's just like, bruh, bruh, it's it's nuts. You said that was weird. <clears throat> like I just don't understand like why I thought the whole point of a mid was that you can't just duck it the whole point of a high is it's supposed to be um, it's supposed to be punishable by being ducked like the way to be high moves like throws and, and that's another thing I want to check oh my god I'm glad I just thought of this another thing I want to add to the list is high strings jab strings jab strings not high strings just jab strings right I also want to bring up that every almost every character in the game has a 7, 8, 9, 10 frame standing 2, and Frost standing 2 is 13 frames because she's S tier, right? Anyway, <laughs> just pointing that out. Just pointing that out for the people that keep telling me the character is S tier and good, that don't lab the character or play the character. Anyway, um, let's get Baraka to do some shit. Oh, that's not the button. Yeah, that's the button. Just down four. Look how low he is to the ground. I, I only know this because it's happened to me in a match. Like, a lot of these, the shit that I come up with and I talk about, is shit that's happened to me in a match. See? Smooth over his head. Smooth over his head. And it's not hard to do. Rock player just be walking. Whoop. Whoop. Down four. And they don't all do this. They don't all know about it. But, like, can you imagine? Every a player that knows about this, it just shuts down my my zoning. And yeah, I want to get. But <laughs> did you did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Clutch. Fuck. I'm never gonna get it. Look. Look at that. <laughs> this is a mid string. <laughs> it's a mid string, bro. It's a mid. It's a mid. I'm not. It's not that I'm not in range. I'm whiffing over his head. Clean. This is a mid. Like, that that's where it becomes a problem, right? And then this is a high. So how do I how do I deal with this as a spawn player, right? Like when you're when you're playing neutral with a Baraka player, and he's like, not only is he just doing that, because he's not gonna just stand there and um down through or down four repeatedly, right? He's not gonna just stand there and down four repeatedly, but he's gonna walk down four, walk down four. Like like say from full screen, right? He don't like he doesn't like how the zoning war is going. You try to zone him down four, down four. Down for it, down for it, and he's gonna like you gotta do something eventually. You have to do something, and like in that situation, right? This shit whiffs. This is a high. I, the second hit might whiff too, honestly. The second hit might whiff too. I do. I still have that saved? No. Come on, we gotta find out. We gotta find out together. We gotta find out together, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we gotta find out together. No, I think the second hit will always land, which is good. Yeah. Okay, the second hit will always land, thank God. But he might be able to just see this and not down for it and just block. Because look how little recovery it has. Look how little recovery his down for has. I know it says that's 15 frames to start up, but when you're that low to the ground, so fucking what? Nothing that he's, he's got, not going to hit you with shit. I can't hit him with any of my mids. But like, so in this situation, I either have to go with something like this, risk whipping the first hit, possibly getting killed by Baraka because we all know Baraka does 800 damage every time he touches you, right? Or I have to use this mid and get nothing out of it or completely commit to it. And if it, if it lands, great damage for me. If, if it's blocked, <laughs> if it's blocked minus 12 which means Barack is gonna fucking kill you because he can kill you off a jab string it's 400 damage and if he crush and blows you it's like 500 so like why is this in the game for me trying to do my mid fireball <laughs> like I don't understand what is that minus one what is this on block Minus two, yeah. If we try to do shit after, then Liu Kang players be like, nope. <laughs> That's the other thing. I can do charge. 
but his charge is minus 20 and 21 frames because his charge needs to be that slow. Even though Sub Zero slide is a load, it's 11 frames at least. Never mind. Anyway, the last thing I want to talk about, the last thing I want to talk about is jab strings. I think this is a this is a little bit different as far as quality of life uh, changes go. But as you can see, Spawn has a jab string 1 1 and 1 1 2. The problem isn't that, uh, you know, some characters have 1 1 1 strings. That is uh, that is a buff in itself, having a 1 1 1 string, because you can literally just mass jab without thinking. And then what you can visually confirm if it hits on the first, second, or third hit, and, and then special cancel it. But that's not even what my beef is about with this. My beef is that jabs are highs, right? Jabs are highs. That's cool. Throws are highs, right? How do you beat throws? Duck, down two, right? But you can't... I, I can't really show this with Spawn, but against a character like Johnny Cage where he commits his jab string, it doesn't matter if you try to duck and down to it. You're going to get slapped in the face. You're going to get hit by the second hit. Like, if you're going to make it a high string and make low attacks supposed to beat high high strings or neutral ducking and down to it, you can't make the second hit come out so fast that I can't punish it. Because that's how Johnny Cage fucking jails you with 85 highs because the, the, the hits in the jab string come out way too fast. And like it, and then you have to respect it, and then he can do other shit once you start respecting that. And it's just like, just get rid of that, bro, or or make your like, just get rid of it, get rid of it, or make it, make it, make the second hits a lot slower or something, make it even across the board, or give uh crouching moves some kind of not invincibility, but give them like priority over highs. Like, give low pokes priority over throws. Oh my god, please do that. That's, I don't want to keep bringing shit up, but if I'm doing a low poke and I'm low like this, I shouldn't be able to be thrown. Like, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> because this is really stupid. It's really dumb. I'm going to have Brock do the same shit he's been doing, right? Look how low he is to the ground. Now, I can't hit him with a high. Y'all know I can't hit him with a high, right? I can barely hit the nigga with a mid. Like, I can't hit him with a mid, right? There we go. It, it's hard to replicate, like, randomly like this, but you get the point, right? Other throws are better than spawns. But, long story short, see? You see that? It's You kind of need to put it in slow-mo to really see it. But I would recommend watching that part in slow-mo when I grab him. But hot throws are highs, but they're the only true mids in the game. Meaning you can't look like you can duck a high, but you can't low profile a high. So like certain characters, regardless of what it's supposed to be, every throw is not the same in this game. Some characters have more throw range than others. I don't know how they decide it. Some characters have different throw animations. As you can see, Spawns is like the one hand grab. Fucking Frost has like the two arm, like looks like a Baraka's grab animation. His might be the same. Yeah, no, it's different, you see? His throw animation is different. Um, but yeah, throws are true mids, but they're highs. So you can't low profile a high. They're the only true mids in the game, which makes no fucking sense. Why can you low prof profile a mid, but not low profile a high throw? Just some weird little changes that I would like to see. Like, fix that. If, if throws are going to be highs, and the way to beat them is to duck down to or duck poke. And you know what I mean? You want us to do that, so don't let me, don't let my low poke get beat by a throw. I've seen, I've done this, and I see the green glowy shit come out, and I still get thrown. I'm like, fam, I have my whole butt now. Why am I getting thrown? I'm crouching, and I have my whole butt now. I should not be able to be thrown in that situation. My low should beat the throw, like 100%. But anyway, these are just some little quality of life changes I think would help the game a lot. And just changes that will make the game more fun, more interesting, more playable, less frustrating, and like give the game a longer lifespan. Make us want to play it more. Make us less angry when we play it. Cause shit like that is why people get mad. I'm like fam, like you can't. It's, it's all when you when you factor this kind of stuff in with online play in 150 ping and all that kind of stuff, it makes this shit terrible to play online. It just does, bro. And this game was not designed to be played online. I can tell. And, but that's a whole nother video, and I've already talked way longer than I should have. So, <laughs> let me know what y'all think, if y'all agree, if y'all disagree, if there's any other little quality of life changes you think this game needs, or if you like it exactly the way it is. Um, leave a comment, please like if you like this video. 
Um, I appreciate all the support. Anybody who watches any video, I appreciate you. And, uh, hey, subscribe for more content, man. I'm here for you.